Hello, and welcome to Context Free, where we talk about programming languages. Today, I want to talk about C++ 20 modules. I've been waiting for modules for many years, and it's great to see it now in the C++ standard. Note that just for concepts, these aren't fully baked into the various implementations yet. But we do have partial implementations available in Microsoft's CL compiler, as well as in Clang. And if you build off of a side branch for modules in GCC, you can try out what they've got going on there, too. And it's always good to visit the pages from these compilers to say what their conformance level is. And sometimes you get details and sometimes you can't, but it's worth looking at this information. So let's take a look at a demo of C++ 20 modules. I'm going to motivate this through a header only library uh, that splits words into vectors or other kinds of containers. And so here's my demo program here. Notice I've included my header only library. I've called it .cpp because that's what I want to call it later when it's a module. And we're going to split things into a vector of string view. So we'll get hello and world in there. And then we're going to split into the existing vector, by and y'all. If I print out all the words one at a time, I should see hello world by y'all. Here's what the implementation looks like. It has a namespace split. And it has two functions that I want to consider public, which is split that returns a vector and split into that splits into an existing container, whatever it happens to be. And I very abusively made a macro here, don't ever do this, uh, just so I can show the effects of macros on before and after modules. And I also have this helper function count words that allows me to reserve an advance space inside of my output container, rather than having to risk multiple allocations during the split process. But I don't want to consider this public and I definitely don't want this to be public. But if we want to use them, we can because nothing's going to stop us. Top level functions in your header are going to be visible outside. So for example, if I want to access count words, I can. Bad me. Or if instead of just inferring the return type here, I choose to use my macro, that works as well. This is especially bad since macros aren't part of the C++ language. Really. They're part of the uh, preprocessor and therefore don't even get namespaces applied to them. So this is all kinds of terrible things. Let's make this into a module so we can fix these issues. So to do this, first we're going to declare the contents of this file as part of the global module. And we're going to change this include to an import. And note that I don't mention a file name here. And in fact, the C++ 20 standard does not tell you how you organize your files or how your modules are found. All it does is tell you what the source code looks like and what the source code means. If we come over here, we want to declare first, again, that our headers are in the global module. And then we want to export module, which I'm just going to call split. Now notice that this module does not introduce a namespace. It does introduce modularization. And so therefore, I want to keep my namespace around as well in the world of modules. Before, I could just build by saying build main.cpp because it included the header. Uh, these days, I have to say I want to pre-compile a C++ module, and that will give me a split.pcm. That's what Clang calls them. And then I can use that pre-built module and tell it where it's going to be located in order to build my output. I could have compiled the .o files along the way for increased caching, perhaps for a very large project and presumably build systems in the future want to take advantage of this and pre-compiled modules to compile things faster. Today my focus is entirely on the modularization of things. I'm using Clang because I could just apt install Clang 9 and it worked for the purposes of this demo today. So again I'm exporting a module called split and I'm importing it here and I'm building it in the way that makes Clang happy. Microsoft's different, GCC's different. Hopefully we'll get some settled standards between GCC and Clang in the future. So if you run this, notice it doesn't work yet because I need to export the things that are going to be public, which is fantastic. In my mind, the easy way should be the right way. And if the easy way is not exported, that's the right way. You should have to manually specify which things are going to be public. And if we run this now, we're back to where we were. However, note that we no longer can access the non-exported function, which is great. We also no longer have access to that macro, which is fantastic. And we're in a good land. Uh, worth pointing out, like I said before, that 
uh, module do not create namespaces. So I technically could put this here because I haven't exported it. I could also have a version of this sitting around over here in my main program. And these two won't collide. I can use my local one here. And if we do a read elf on our binary, we'll see we have two versions of count words. One inside of the split module and one inside of the global module. However, like I said, uh, modules don't introduce namespaces. And so were I to export this here, at a source level, there's a conflict. It doesn't know which of these two count words functions it should be using. And it sees this conflict here. So again, you don't have to namespace your private functions, but if you want to export them, you want to continue to use namespaces as today. Back into Workingville. Okay, also worth mentioning, like I said, that not all the implementations are done. So for example, in GCC, it's not even available on the master branch. You have to use a separate modules branch and compile that to get support. And beyond that, I found that uh, along the way here, things stopped working in my demo. And I got error messages, including, we are damaged, this is broken, logic is lost, we struggle, hunt through the rubble of what once was. And if you follow this link here about bugs on modules, see it tells you that you actually shouldn't submit bug reports. They know it's not ready yet. So tread lightly, but if you want to try out Clang or uh, MSVC today, you should be able to at least get a preview of some of the features of modules and see how things look in the future. I hope it's been fun. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe. Bye, y'all.